Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Windows 10 April 2019 update. Um, it looks like I have the build number 18342, which is updated about um, February 16th or so. Um, and I am running the latest um, October update, of course. Um, they pushed it really until January and stuff like that. But all the other updates, um, security updates, everything up until today, you can see the 227. Um, yep, so let's dive in. I'm going to show you a comparison between the two real quick. As you can see, the default layout is new. Um, they have this newer uh, light blue wallpaper, obviously, and even the taskbar comes in the standard. Right when you turn it on, it comes standard, like uh, the little bit of light theme. Um, it looks like there's like a high contrast of the black and uh, the white here. Uh, looks like they did that all pretty much new. When you actually look right here, you notice two, two great things actually are going on here. They actually separated both of the, the search and the Cortana. Finally, because normally there are one button each and you could right click it, you can hit like search, um, you could show the search box or the icon. So we, let's just say if you want to say no more search bar, you just want to use Cortana for some reason. Um, I can learn to understand you. Must yeah, I'm sure you can. Okay, so we're good with that. We actually don't want to even show that anymore, so you can just get rid of that right there. You see the short Cortana. I personally like the um, See, you can do the icon. You can always do that with the other one. And you can show the search box. So as you see in the other window we have here, with typical windows, it's built into both. And you can search the same way, but it uses the access as Cortana and the search engine. Um, here it is separate. So we'll keep it out here just to show you. Um, keep it again. Um, now, actually, the search has changed a little bit. The top apps, what's going on here. Um, there's also a timeline you can click as well. Okay, so yep, that's a little bit about the settings and search right there. Um, another thing we can go into real quick, obviously, we'll just keep going with the theme here. We can go to personalize. So you can tell the whole theme as a whole is much, much lighter, even though the windows bar here. Um, I know we put ours black and it's see-through, but it is actually a bit different on the new Windows build. Um, so you can go to themes here. And they actually have, when you scroll down a little bit, um, that's very similar. Change theme, you see Windows Light. Now, if you go over to this one, we say change theme. We don't have Windows Light. We just have Windows, Windows 10, Flowers. Um, obviously, they give you the new one for Windows. But Light is pretty much going to make everything. Um, there's a light and a dark theme. You can have in both builds as well. But this is a standard theme, and pretty much it makes everything like light. You can see like the taskbar is light, um, notification, everything is light. Uh, if you go into folders, everything is a little bit lighter. So one more thing with the themes actually before we change this. Um, obviously I'm not going to be able to compare this one, but when you log in and out, so I'm going to hit lock here. Now when here this looks normal, but when you pull up um, there's it makes a blur effect. So now when you download something they actually have when you download it. And I know this is for people who have a million stuff downloaded. They actually have one for you can put t for today. Now, if you look at the old one that we have here, it just says pretty much sort by name. Um, now you have a sort by when it was downloaded. So the next thing we're going to look at is for apps. They actually did a, a little bit better, and I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy this one. There's a few more apps you can actually uninstall and remove. So actually, the calculator, you couldn't do that before. Um, the calendar, I don't think you could do before. I'm going to show you here in ours. So the calculator, so you can't do it. Um, the calendar. Now, you can remove these apps. And then if you want to reinstall them, you just go through the Windows Store. So that's always a good thing in case you ever wanted to do that again. Um, but hey, hopefully it can make you remove all of these in the future. So you can even do the Mail app, which is really cool. You can't do the Mail app over here. You know, that's what Windows 7 was great for. They're very, very minimalistic. All right, so um, the next thing we're going to do is look at the action menu here. Um, I actually usually just, like, get rid of, like, the little notifications on mine. But um, I do know here if you actually have, like, a tablet or a laptop, they have a slider here for the brightness, and you can actually change that. I'm um, sorry we're on a desktop right now. I can't really show you that. But... Um, so if you want to edit it, you can right click and hit edit quick. Look at this, instead of going into the settings app, like over here, I'll show you over here. So 
actually so even to even get to I have to actually go to the settings. So you have to go to the settings now and actually change stuff over here. So it's a lot more it's kind of like it's like a phone. It's very similar to that now. Um, it's much better now. You can move it. You can pin it. Oops, sorry. Kind of change it, move it around how you like. Just like a phone, especially for tablets. If people have Microsoft services, I'm sure, and other things, it would be much nicer to have. Snip and sketch. Yeah, this is the newer one. I'm, I'm still used to the old name, but I've, okay. So let's say I just want to snip. Um, just say I want to snip this downloads folder right here, just to look at this downloads folder. You can actually do that now. They do it by apps. See, look, so you can hover here. This is really cool, actually. So just say I want to snap the settings, the downloads, the desktop, this other things. You can do that. So I can click. I just want this one right here. So it gives you a beautiful full screen of just the app. But let me show you as a comparison in this one. So if I want to snip and sketch, I want to do a specific window. We don't have it. You can obviously see here we're missing the one different one that does that. Um, the folders and um, different types of applications. You can actually go into here. You can say pause updates. There's up to seven days now if you want to. Um, view update history. It's a little bit better. I'll show you on here too. So this one is just there's a regular one everyone else is used to, but here's side by side. So one last thing. Um, it's about the microphone. Now, whenever you use the microphone in this new build of Windows 10. Um, there will actually be an icon that's over here in this corner. It's going to be in the. It's going to be like a black color, and it's and it's pretty much telling you that the microphone is on and in so use. Right here, if an app is using your microphone, you see the icon here, and which we would show up in the corner here. Um, I'm using it on another machine, so I can't really show you right now. Obviously, it doesn't show it here. So it's a good privacy thing to show. Hey, someone's listening, or you're using the microphone, or um, if it's not, if it's on for some strange reason that you don't want it to be on. Now, no, actually, there's one more cool thing. You can access, uh, from what I understand, you can access Linux files now um, from here from natively. Uh, you have to type in, a, of course, the path for it, but um, I don't have any to show you here. But it looks like that's about it. Anything else, I guess, I mean, this is the, the latest bill as of now, but yep, that's pretty much the basics here. Um, just some pretty cool things that, that uh, I saw. And yep, hope you guys have a good one.